right. Okay. So for those of you that were not here, when we're doing this, all we're doing is looking into solving our equations. All right. So for solving this equation, what I'm simply want to do is I need to solve for my x. Now remember guys, when you have like one x, it's pretty easy just to get that trig function with the x by itself. But here I have multiple of my secants. So one thing that automatically triggers in my brain is to start thinking of factoring. So when I'm gonna to wanna to factor, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure I get all my terms over to this left side and I can factor set it equal to zero. So therefore I have secant squared of x minus secant of x minus two equals zero. Now, some of you might be a little bit, you know, kind of vague to see how you would factor this. So what I would recommend is to eliminate or just forget about the secants for a second and just see if you could factor this as it is, um, or this trinomial as it is there, okay? And when you do that, what you guys will notice is x minus two times um, x uh, plus one equals zero when you factor. All right, and the next thing is remember guys, you gotta remember the zero product property. When we have these two multiplied equal zero, we can set both of these equal to zero. Okay, so this is what we do, this is what we've done before with all the algebra. Now all we're doing is we're gonna do the exact same thing with the trig. So what I notice is I can now factor this to secant of x minus two, and, or sorry, secant, secant of x minus two, and then secant of x plus one equals zero. Okay? So now what I want to do is I want to set them both equal to zero. So I have secant of x minus two equals zero, and secant of x um, plus one equals zero, right? But ladies and gentlemen, when we're trying to find our values for secant, it's very difficult for us to figure out what secant, uh, actually let me solve this first before I go into that. So then I'll solve. So I have secant of x equals positive two, and secant of x equals negative one, right? Well, how do I figure out what the secant is? It's pretty difficult for us to do this. Um, it's difficult for us to do cosecant, and it's difficult for us to produce cotangent. So what we can do is remember what our reciprocals are. That remember, cosine is the reciprocal of secant. So I can say then that use the cosine is equal to the reciprocal of two over one, which would be one half. And cosine of secant of negative x is still gonna be um, negative one. Does everybody see why I did that and how I did that? Yeah. We can't, we can, but it's very difficult to find what secant is on the unit circle, right? We know cosine is our x value, our sine is our y value, and tangent is y over x, right? We know those kind of three, two are um, easily, and we also know the unit circle. So if I don't, secant is kind of hard for us to visualize where it is on the unit circle. So what I can do is if I rewrite it as a cosine, then it's now easy for me to say, oh, okay, I know cosine one half is on the unit circle. I know cosine of negative one is on the unit circle. Make sense? So just remember, because secant and cosine are reciprocals of each other. So now I need to figure out, or remember, where is cosine of one half? And I don't think I wrote this, but we have to be between zero and two pi. So I write this up. That's a good circle. Thank you. Oh, well, let's see where one half is. Uh, I'm sorry. One half would be at this point. One half radical three over two, and it's also at this point, which is one half comma negative radical three over two. Well, this angle, like I said, is pi over three, and that angle is five pi over three. So you could say x equals pi over three, five pi over three, and then where does cosine equal negative one half, or negative one? Well, negative one is only at this point, which would be at pi. Pi, it's at pi. How can you never have pi? Hey, can we have like some pi? 
that make sense? Does anybody have a question on this? Chocolate pie. Did you just say chocolate pie? Does anybody have a question on this? No, I get it. In a serious, non-chocolate pie manner. I get it. Thank you.